Welcome. Thank you for being here to do some E of T and some tapping with me. If you're not familiar, details are down the link below, website, handouts, points, all that stuff, as well as links to other workshops I'm doing or my weekly group. If you want to join me there, the weekly group, you're all welcome to come and tap along. And today we're going to talk about those times where you just, we try and be heard and we try and be heard and we're just, it's failed attempt after failed attempt to be heard. Because sometimes people just don't want to listen. So let's dive in. So I'm going to side of the hand. Even though I tried to make myself heard, I really tried. I tried again and again. But I just didn't have the words to have them listen to me. And I deeply and completely, compassionately love, honor, and accept myself. Even though there was failed attempt after failed attempt. Even though there was failed attempt after failed attempt to be heard, to be understood, to be respected and to be recognized. I do feel completely, compassionately, love, honor, accept myself. I forgive them for being dismissive of my needs and dismissive of my voice and dismissive of my perspective. I forgive myself I just didn't know how to talk to them. I didn't have the words. I didn't know how to get my point across. Even though I've struggled in silence, suppressed, always struggling in silence, biting my tongue, not speaking my truth, I deeply and completely, compassionately love, honor, and accept myself. I couldn't get them to hear me. I tried and tried. They just didn't understand me. They just didn't want to listen. They weren't going to listen to me. And so I suffered and I struggled in silence. I desperately wanted them to understand me, but I just couldn't get anywhere. And so I suffered in silence over and over again, always suffering in silence, biting my tongue. I tried to have them understand me, but they weren't going to listen. I couldn't be heard. My words were meaningless to them. And so I suffered and had pain and heartache, all of this heartache within me, the sense of despair, all this frustration. Frustration after frustration after frustration. It was so irritating. It was so annoying. I just wanted them to listen to me, to respect my perspective. But they couldn't. So I suffered in silence never being understood, not being respected. I was just dismissed and dismissed again and dismissed again. My perspective was downplayed, ignored, just wasn't fair. 
that anger around it. I'm still annoyed. I'm angry. And I'm sad. Because it's so disappointing. All this anger stored within me. Because it was so hard to get myself heard. It was impossible. They weren't going to listen to me. They didn't want to hear my point of view. They didn't want my perspective. And it hurt. It was so disheartening. All this frustration. Time and time again, I was so frustrated. I was hurt and angry. I felt ashamed. This is why it didn't matter. All this shame put on me. I felt guilty imposing on them. I just wanted them to hear me. And I felt guilty for taking up the time. And I held myself back. I didn't respect my wishes. I didn't respect my needs. I felt like a doormat because they weren't going to recognize me. They weren't going to hear me out. They weren't going to hear my perspective. So disheartening. All of this anger, all of this pain this guilt and shame for even wanting to be heard. They made me feel so small, as if I just didn't matter at all. They made me feel so small, and it really hurt. So I was forced to suffer in silence. I couldn't get them to hear me. So I couldn't get them to change. And that was really frustrating. Because I couldn't get any progress. I couldn't get them to take care of me. Or respect me. And that hurt. And that's dumb. And I'm really struggling with all this anger and all this sadness and all this pain, but I choose to let it go. I choose to recognize that their inability to hear me was not because I didn't try. They didn't want to hear me. They weren't interested in the topic. They didn't want to be responsible. They didn't want to change. They'd have to do something different. They'd have to find solutions they didn't have. So it's easier to brush me aside. But that's on them. Because they didn't want the truth. They didn't want to know what was going on. They didn't want to hear me. They didn't want to consider my perspective. But that's on them. I did what I could. I didn't feel safe talking to them. I didn't feel like it was safe to really get in their face about this. So I bit my tongue. Maybe more than I should have. But that's what I needed to do for self-preservation and for safety. I had to help pull back, not because I wanted to, but because I couldn't not. I did what I could, but it just wasn't safe to express myself. 
And so I was forced to suffer in silence. And I have a lot of guilt and shame about that, which I choose to release. I choose to let it go. I choose to recognize they have some responsibility here. They should have been paying more attention, honoring my perspective, recognizing me for where I was at. They should have tried harder. They should have had better skills, but they just didn't. So I'm letting myself off the hook and I'm forgiving myself for all the times I couldn't be heard because it wasn't about me. It was about their inability to hear me. So I'm forgiving myself and letting myself off the hook for these failed attempts after failed attempts, after failed attempts. That's on them. I did try. And that's enough. I can be at peace with what I attempted to do. And I choose to respect myself, respect my efforts, even if they couldn't. I choose to honor and respect myself. I'd be proud of my effort. Even if I didn't succeed, I could be proud of my attempt. And, though, and so I release this pain and I let it go, knowing that it's a new day. I have a new way of communicating now. And I choose to recognize when I'm in a relationship and they don't want to hear me. I don't need to waste my time. I can find a different path to achieve my goals. I have different resources now and different skills and abilities. So I'm moving forward. It's safe to move forward now. It's safe to express myself fully now. And it's safe to move forward. Thank you for being here. Let's go through again if you need to. And I look forward to seeing you on another video or in my group sessions. Take care.